Hello viewers, uh, welcome back again. In this uh, virtual class, uh, we are going to establish uh, from first principle uh, the derivative of uh, y is equal to tan x. So we will use the first principle, you know, to stabilize these uh, uh, facts. Now, if you recall, you recall that y uh, is tan x, okay, and tan. Uh, uh, is the ratio of tan x sine x uh, is sine x sine x over over cos x okay uh, but you know that from first principle our y here become y plus uh, delta y so that in place of sine x here we have a sine open bracket x plus delta x uh, all over Cos open bracket x plus delta x or uh, close our brackets here the y we have to move to the right hand side so we have a uh, delta y becomes a uh, sine open bracket x plus delta x I uh, will close our bracket uh, we have uh, the denominator cos open bracket x plus uh, delta x minus minus y uh, but our y here is simply uh, sine x over uh, cos x and looking at this um, expression is already a fraction uh, whose denominator is uh, is this so to obtain the LCM of this denominator uh, cos x plus the x and the cos x, the LCM uh, becomes uh, x plus delta x, um, then uh, cos, cos x. Okay, now we have to simplify this. Cos open bracket x plus the s, close bracket, divide this, the denominator of this fraction, it becomes cos x. So here, uh, we use this result to multiply the numerator. So here we become, um, sine open bracket x plus delta x uh, cos x minus okay minus here here the whole of this denominator divide this cos x will be left with uh, this expression here we have a uh, uh, minus sine x uh, open bracket or we can just write it as cos open bracket x plus delta x okay uh, here we look at some area that uh, we need to know uh, if you recall uh, our sine x our sine open bracket x plus the s from trigonometry that is our sum of angles here is uh, is sine x uh, cos delta x plus cos x uh, sine delta x similarly uh, cos open bracket x plus delta x is equal to cos x uh, cos uh, delta x minus sine x sine uh, delta x okay that is the equivalent of this term here so we will replace them uh, with this in this expression but here we wouldn't want to temper we wouldn't want to temper with we leave the denominator in that manner we are not going to replace uh, cos s with this uh, expression so we leave it in that manner okay yeah so we have uh, delta y uh, is equals uh, we put in place of uh, sine x plus the x we replace it and uh, this becomes uh, sine x uh, cos delta x uh, plus um, cos x uh, sine uh, delta x in bracket times uh, cos x okay 
here we have a minus minus sign sin s open bracket in place of cos open uh, in case of cos x plus the x we replace it with a uh, cos x um cos theta x minus sin x or sin theta x we close our bracket um divide um cos open bracket x plus theta x down uh, cos x so we will open this uh, expression we open if we multiply the whole of this expression with cos x and this with a sin x and if we do that we see that in this expression we're going to have a uh, theta y theta y becomes uh, cos x sin x uh, cos uh, theta x okay guys for this term then if you multiply with this term we will definitely have a we have cos x times cos x that will give us uh, cos square x or uh, sine theta x okay then if we open with this uh, side minus sin s multiplying everything in this uh, bracket here in this uh, uh, cos s dx so here we have a uh, um, minus sin x cos x then cos cos delta x okay similarly similarly uh minus sin x multiplying sin x sin delta s uh that becomes uh that becomes plus sin square x sin square x or uh, sin uh delta x you know everything divide the um, cos open bracket x plus uh delta x uh, cos x and if we observe carefully if we observe carefully we see that uh cos x sin x cos the x minus uh sin x cos x or uh, cos the x they are completely off okay they are completely off and there uh, will be left uh, our data y data y becomes uh, we have a cos square x or uh, sine data x plus sine square x or uh, sine data x or uh, divides our uh, cos open bracket x plus data x cos x and if you look at this the numerator uh, something is common here sine delta x or uh, sine delta x so we factor it out uh, so that we have a delta y is equals to uh, sine delta sine delta x open bracket cos square x plus sine square x uh, divide cos um x plus delta x uh cos cos x okay and if you recall if you recall that this expression cos square x plus sin square x is equals to one so that our expression here the expression here our delta y uh, becomes our sine delta x all over cos open bracket x plus theta x cos x okay and you know our interest is that we are looking for theta y theta x so we divide through by uh, by theta x and if we do that uh, here we have um, uh, we have uh, this is theta y uh, divide theta x and if we do that this become sine theta x all over our uh, cos open bracket x plus theta x uh, cos x 
divide uh, delta x. And if we apply the division principle here, if we invert it, uh, this becomes uh, delta y, delta s is equal to sine delta x, or uh, divide delta x, all over cos, open bracket x, plus delta s, cos square cos x, cos x. Because this uh, delta s, we only we affect the, the numerator, which is sine uh, delta x. And if we are applying the principle of limit, apply the principle of limit so that as limit, uh, delta x, 10 to 0 of uh, delta y over delta x. Okay, this limit here, uh, this limit will apply to this limit as delta x 10 to 0 of sine delta x all over delta x. Uh, similarly, uh, in place of cos, x plus delta x. Uh, the limit will also apply to it uh, cos x. So if we apply the limit here, we know that this limit here as s tend to 0, as s tend to 0 here is uh, 1. Okay, here we have a uh, delta x. So if we apply delta x here, uh, uh, this become uh, the y over the x. The numerator here, this limit from uh, a radian. This limit usually gives a 1. Okay? Here, this will become 1. Divides. If this is 0, that means we will be left with cos x times cos x. And that will give us um, 1 over cos square x. 1 over what? Cos square x. And from trigonometry, uh, the inverse... 1 over cos x is uh, is uh, sec. sec. 1 over cos is sec. So, uh, our dy dx here, our dy uh, dx is equal to sec square x. So, if we differentiate tan, if we differentiate tan, uh, the result will give us sec square x uh, from a uh, uh, first principle. And even if we use uh, the quotient through is still going to give us the same result, but uh, going through first principle, uh, we have obtained the result. Please, all you help me do, uh, help me subscribe, help me subscribe, please help me subscribe, and also you know share this uh, um, mathematical concept to your social media platform. Have a nice time. See you in my next virtual class.